Welcome back to PMD Cars, and today we have a 2005 Hummer H2 for you. So this is a maroon color here on this Hummer. This is the H2 version, has the 6 liter V8 sitting on these massive 35s with chrome wheels. She's quite large. Uh, word of advice, don't get hit by one, because uh, this right here, solid, solid steel. You got this brush guard here, it won't hurt this. You're the only one getting hurt here. All right, and then back here on the Hummer, we have this massive bumper back here with more steel. You got two of these hooks back here for even more added protection. You got your trailer hitch back here. You got the chrome accent to match the rest of the, the vehicle. And then you have this gigantic trunk back here that you can open on up. You can throw your spare 35 back there if you want to. You know, you can do whatever. It's got plenty of room. All right, so right here, guys, we have the Vortec 6 liter V8. This thing is a beast of a motor in this beast of a vehicle. It's a gigantic Hummer with a gigantic motor. All right, guys, now the interior of the 2005 Hummer. Now, this is actually a very modern interior for 2005. We have a lot of very modern equipment on here that you wouldn't expect to see. We have the heated seats over here. And then we actually have this really cool function, you know, if everybody in the car is just dying of heat exhaustion, you can just throw every window down at once, which isn't that just a great feature. And then, you know, if you just want to slide them all back up, you can. Then we have on the steering wheel, you got your volume controls, your source controls. You have your information over here for your gas, your range, which you're going to need it because this thing sucks it down. You got your information right here and a little back button. Over here we have our lights, the dimming, then you have your windshield wipers, you know, cruise control, all that good stuff. You got all your basic window and mirror controls over here. We actually have Bose audio in here as well, which is very cool for 2005. We have our four wheel drive settings right here, traction control for your hauling trailers. And then it actually also has the load assist here like the Yukon does, where it will adjust accordingly to if you have more stuff in the back, it'll lower the front so you have a smoother ride. Right here we have our old school 2005 radio with the basic volume, FM, AM radio, CD player, the good old radio right there. Then we have our AC, which is pretty cold for 2005 air actually. I don't know if it's ever been serviced or not, but so uh, it's pretty cold, surprisingly. We have, you know, basic controls down here. We got the old school OnStar for all those emergency needs you have on the side of the road. So then we have this, this shifter right here, which reminds me a lot of a, uh, a thruster on an airplane, you know, because that's exactly what this is, a giant flying death trap that's a couple thousand pounds. We have our sunroof on our 2005 Hummer H2, which, it's pretty basic. And then, you know, you can just tuck her on away. And then here in our middle console area, we have this nice giant space here for any of your needs. Put some change, you know, store your napkins, you know, purse, wallet. So then we have our nice leather seats here with these little fold down armrests for when you're driving so you're even more comfortable. Sounds just like 2005. Sounds just like 2005 indeed. But you know, if you ever want to feel like you're in the military, this is how you do it right here. Because I promise you, you're not getting hurt in this thing in any way, shape, or form. And then back there in the back seat, we have plenty of room for our camera equipment and for people, indeed, actually. You got lots of leg room, lots of headspace back there. You got your little fold down console there for cup holders. And this is all leather from 2005. 
there you go all original we got the AC controls back here as well probably can't see that but pretty cool for 2005 you know you wouldn't expect to see that a lot in certain vehicles but hey Hummer all right and then we're gonna go up on a little drive here in the Hummer on 35s you know because why not because Hummer so this here is a quite quite the large vehicle here I feel like I am driving through Afghanistan currently uh, it's about how hot it is here uh, it only feels like 115 or something like that but it's all right because we are semi-cold in here uh, I feel like I'm about to uh, engage thrust in an airplane this 6 sure is cool though to have in your Hummer you know when you just you need plenty of power to move this sucker. Ow. <laughs> the Hummer can't take uh, bumps as well as I thought it would, but hey, you can leap this bitch in the desert. Man, should have had the Mustang. Look, you gotta be yourself on the camera. Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus! God, don't even try speed bumps in this. God! I thought this was an off-road vehicle. It is an off-road vehicle, but not with the speed bump. It needs an exhaust, let me tell you what. Yeah, it'd make it a lot more better. A lot more better. A lot more better. Uh, I'm going to college, I swear. Get the sucker up to highway speed. This thing is not fast, okay? Maybe it is. Look for uh, for like, all metal and steel. For like 10,000 pounds. Oh yeah, it's about 10,000 pounds. Looking five tons over here of metal. I'm telling you, I'd rear in the hell out of this Elantra and they'd never know it hit them. Oh yeah, they'd die. Yeah. I mean, look at the size difference between this thing. I mean, I feel like I'm in a goddamn, like, tank, I guess. I mean, it's about the most accurate representation I can think of at this point. So we want to give a huge shout out to Wyatt Johnson for giving us this tank of a vehicle here, the Hummer H2 from 2005. We hope you like this review. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys later.